Hi guys, welcome to a new episode here on Fishtails and today we're going to catch tuna. We are on Lamu Atoll on the Maldives. Uh, we are invited on the boat on the Doni, which is a typical name for a Maldivian fisherman boat of Captain Hussein. And actually what you see here right now is in the middle of the night we are folding nets around schools of bait, of live bait, because this bait we will need to catch the tuna. So fishermen are going to have a little swim and folding around the net. This is Captain Hussein. So as soon as the sun is rising and we have enough bait, we sail out some more miles up to the Indian Ocean. Now we're going to start to catch the real tuna. So two fishermen are throwing the bait along the side of the boat and hopefully the tuna will bite. So here is the point where the fishermen take their poles and their lines and their hooks to catch these beautiful tuna, this skipjack and yellowfin tuna. So it's really one man, one pole, one hook and one fish. A very, very sustainable way of fishing tuna. It's the example to the world. So as soon as we have caught the fish, Captain Hussein and his crew is sailing back to the port of Mandu to unload the tuna. So after the tuna has been unloaded, it will be weighed and it will be ready for the next step. So this is actually the factory, which is owned by the Maldivian people too. It's next to the port of Mandu. Um, and here they clean the tuna really, really nice. And you see big chunks, you see smaller pieces. This is to give you the exact weight of the can of tuna. And it's such a delicious oily tuna. You can choose for brine, for spring water, for sunflower oil, for olive oil. So this is a typical process of canning tuna, sustainable tuna called by pole and line. So as soon as the, the cans of tuna uh, have been washed, they're ready for sterilization, being labeled and transported to your local store. So now you know the story of delicious tuna 